Yeah, Mike, uh, after years of calling for more treatment options, the wheels may now be in motion to make that happen. That's because both sides in the first federal trial involving the opioid crisis reached a last minute deal to settle out of court. Appearing before a judge in Cleveland this morning, lawyers for Cuyahoga and Summit counties announced they reached a settlement overnight with four drug companies. The $260 million deal came on what would have been day one of the first federal trial involving the opioid crisis. People are suffering now. People are dying now. So the fact that we were able to get the money in a short time frame is very helpful. It is a timing issue. Um, and these are lots and lots of dollars. Sandy Keene is president of the Center for Addiction Treatment in the West End. She's waited anxiously to see how the case that was settled today would play out. Those particular lawsuits don't impact us directly, but the ramifications will impact us. The ramifications Keene's talking about involve more than 2,000 lawsuits the drug industry faces that are still scheduled for trial. Among them are Cincinnati and Hamilton County, as well as several other local cities and counties. If settlement talks in those cases prove accurate, Big Pharma could pay out upwards of $50 billion. Both the city and the county could possibly be um, in the running for a pretty good chunk of change. So right now I feel like the the greatest need is, you know, detox, recovery housing, beds. Tyler Schmidt, who's been sober for years, works on Cincinnati streets, connecting addicts to drug treatment services. He hopes grassroots programs, especially those run by recovering addicts, will get a slice of any future settlement. Having walked through that fire allows me to pull the next man up, speak life into him, and set him on a path for his destiny to unfold. Now, both Tyler Schmidt and Sandy Keene say whatever amount of money comes from the drug industry, it's critical that it go to fight the opioid crisis. Keene says that's not what happened when tobacco companies settled with states. She says a lot of that money went into general funds. Todd Dykes, WWT News 5.